Hello and welcome to highlights of the 2023 Lincoln Grand Prix, round one of the Men's British Cycling National Road Series. The flag dropped and we had attacks right from the start and, as is customary at Lincoln, the first run into Michael Gate was at breakneck speed. 300 metres, mostly cobbled and peaking at over 20%. Rory Townsend of Bolton Equities Black Spoke and Kieran McSherry from the Cycling Academy attacked on the first descent, forging clear of the peloton. 167 kilometers in total for the riders today, which means 13 laps of the 13 kilometer circuit, each one including the famous climb of Michael Gate in Lincoln. And Rory Townsend was a man on a mission, putting in a big dig to pull clear alongside McSherry early on. A lap later, and the pair was joined by Trinity Racing's Dean Harvey and William Tidball of St. Piran, and their advantage hovered around a dozen seconds or so. The four riders settled into a good rhythm and it looked like they'd be given some leeway by the bunch. However, a number of teams had missed out on the move and after a few laps, they were working to bring that breakaway back. The pace of the peloton remained high and a lack of control at the front of the bunch saw small breakaways trying to establish themselves and soon that front group swelled from four to around ten riders. And by the third time up Michael Gate, the big teams were represented in a group of ten or so including Rocket SRCT, Trinity Racing and four St. Piran riders. Rory Townsend made the split again and they pushed on over the top of the climb. It was strung out on the roads outside Lincoln and by the time the bunch reached the flat roads on the back end of the circuit, the two groups had come back together. With 70 kilometers done, the ebb and flood of the race was really being felt at the back of the peloton. Every time up Michael Gate, the pace at the front was jettisoning riders out of the back. Meanwhile, at the front of the race, Max Stedman and Rory Townsend, former teammates, were pushing on. It was around the halfway mark that a group of 15 or so riders had forced their way clear, but that move seemed too big to work together comfortably, and the attack started flying on the back end of the course, and one of them looked quite decisive. By the eighth time up Michael Gate, the front group was markedly less coherent than before and we saw some riders seizing the opportunity to clip off the front. And once again, it was down to Rory Townsend who was forced to do a lot of the chasing. Looking across the fields, they could see those four riders had come together at the front and for the first time, looked like they were working well together. Those four riders, the St. Perrin trio of Alex Richardson, Jack Rukin Gray and Zeb Kiffin, as well as Trinity Racing's Dean Harvey. Onto the Michael Gate for the leaders then, and no attacks this time, but Dean Harvey was trying to find every inch of smooth road that he could. Back in the chasing group and the most active man in the race, Rory Townsend, was working alongside Sam Colverwell of Dolan LS, but there were no match for the front four, who'd settled into a good rhythm. And that breakaway lead was continuing to grow, reaching over a minute by the time that all eyes fell on Trinity Racing's Dean Harvey. At 27 kilometers, Zeb Kiffin was the first to attack. There's no response from Harvey. He knew this moment would come eventually and the St. Piran trio was absolutely ruthless in its execution. Look back from Dean Harvey, looking for help, but that wasn't going to come. Alex Richardson quickly followed and Harvey knew the jig was up. A drop of the head and a slight acceleration to chase, but he knew he was outnumbered and outgunned by St. Piran. Passed the feed zone one more time, and finally Jack Rook and Gray jumped clear before the descent towards Michael Gate. Harvey, meanwhile, could do nothing, and he would soon be swallowed up by the chase group. So onto the penultimate lap, 25 kilometers to go, and the three St. Piran riders had an almost unassailable lead which meant the only thing left to work out was who would take the spoils. If we thought there'd be any bad blood or arguments, I was quickly put to rest, <laughs> as we could see that they were all smiles in the breakaway. Alex Richardson, already a winner of the Lincoln Grand Prix in 2018, was the first to make his move at three kilometers to the finish. And there's no response from his teammates. 
quick glance, but they were clearly happy to see the man who'd been active from very early on in the race to ride to his second victory in Lincoln. And coming up the final climb alone could really save the victory. Inside the last 200 meters and Richardson, a smile starting to form as he crested the cobbles, powered on up Michael Gate. If anything, it was a ride that highlighted just how dominant St. Piran had been on the day, as Alex Richardson rounded the final bend and punched the air in delight ahead of his two celebrating teammates. Alex, congratulations on the win. Talk us through the final kilometer there, like it was a, a team coming into it. Uh, yeah, I mean, we uh, we had, I don't know, a minute or two gap by that point, so, um, you know, the boys, uh, the boys really kind of worked uh, super hard and... Uh, in the end, it had been in the calendar for a while, and I was the chosen man. Uh, these, I, I can just about win these races now, so um, you know they, they they've, they're going to have some good opportunities later in the year. But this is a this is a very important one for me. Yeah. A great day for the Cornish team: a clean sweep of the podium and four riders in the top ten. The Alex Richardson taking the overall lead in the National Road Series as well. Thanks very much for joining us. If you want to support the British scene, please like this video and subscribe and then leave a comment telling us what you'd like to see next.